Hello folks, how you doing? This video was about uh, Har Timmer. Har means the child, child sun god. And Timmer is the adult, about the age of 30. So Har Timmer is a god who has come to carry out the will of his father. He has come to destroy the enemies of his father. The question is, well, who is the father? Okay. So we see that Hard Timma is a child of the father. Okay. Therefore, he is created by the father. Hard Timma is created by the father. And eventually, the father will assimilate to Har Timmer, become one with his own son. You see? So, we want to know, well, who are the enemies of the father? Well, these are the children of impotent revolt. They are revolting against the father. But they have no power. They're impotent. Well, how do they get power anyway? To, to revolt in the first place. Okay. So we'll take this back to ordinary people. Huh? We get away from the mythology for a second. So people give power. Okay. Uh, to their personality traits their biases, et cetera, and all that. So these personality traits are the children of impotent revolt. The one who Hart Timmer has come to destroy, you see. So he's talking about destroying the personality of the father. So we can take a person who has decided, okay, to, let's say, gain knowledge of himself. The personality stands in the way of that. The personality constitutes the children of impotent revolt, who rises up against this effort, you see. Of course, people believe that that personality they have is the true thing, the real deal. But it's not. It's enough to get you through this life, though. And there is no hell waiting for you. But there are a few people, okay, who want to take the extra step, the extra mile, when it comes to self-knowledge. They want to acquire it. But as I said, the personality stands in the way. And all mythology and all religious scriptures testify to this very thing. It's just so difficult to understand when the scriptures are being read. The ancient scriptures. There are many, many misinterpretations of the ancient scriptures or misplaced facts, you see, and that becomes tools of deception. People are deceived. And they're not about to change the ordinary person because of fear. And fear is one of the children of impotent revolt. You see. And so Hard Timmer has come to destroy these children, including fear, hatred, pride, animosity, such feelings that people carry about them. These are children of impotent revolt. They don't have any power themselves. These traits. Okay? They don't have power themselves. People give them the power. And they use this power. The children of impotent revolt use this power to 
enslave and prison the folks. People are enslaved by their own personality. So back to Hard Timmer. So Hard Timmer comes to do the destroying of the personality traits so that the person, the father, can be free from this personality. The passions involved with this personality attach uh, uh, attach a person to to earth, imprison a person. But we hear throughout the scriptures that the saying that uh, one must die in order to live. They're talking about the personality, because the person actually believes that the personality is his true being, but it's not. And so all, all the uh, scriptures of all religions teach this. But it may not be explained that way, you see. Because the folks who control the religions want to control the people also. And fear is a primary weapon. People have been told that if they uh, go to another god or worship another god or this or that or commit various sins, that they're going to burn in hell. That puts fear in people's heart. When they're told this, especially at a young age, it scares them. And they carry this fear all through life. You know? So when a person all goes out and does something that is against, the, let's say, the so-called laws of, a, of a, the scriptures of his religion or cult, he feels a little guilty even though he might commit the act. You know? The passion involved is so great that the person tends to just be blind to what his scriptures are saying to him. And passions are blinding. You see. So anyway, Hard Timmer goes about destroying the children of impotent revolt. He's carrying out the will of his father. Well, the question is, is who is this father? Okay. The father is, uh, is well, an ordinary person. That's who the father is. <laughs> it's who God the father is. God the father is an ordinary person, let's say, who goes through the initiation process. That's the way it was in the ancient temples. And that's the way it is today, probably, in certain organizations, such quasi-religious organizations, you know what I mean? So the personality traits have to be destroyed. Now, we have, uh, let's say, a house of cards. That crashes down. It cannot stand the slightest breeze. It falls down to the ground. This is a person's personality. You see, a person builds his personality. And when someone comes along and says something to hurt his feelings or her feelings, that house of cards crashed to the ground. The personality is built on false premises. Another thing about Hard Timmer is that Hard Timmer is the second. That is, we hear of the second coming, but that's Hard Timmer. 
The second coming is not about something coming from out of the sky. The second coming is here, a ring up, a bringing up, okay, of let's say, uh, Haru, hog headed, Haru, the adult, or the Christ, okay, to bringing up the God within, which here in the soul of religion, such as in the present generation, is, is referred to as the sun god when it is brought up in the person, like the Christ was the sun god. So is the Buddha. And so is the ancient god Ta. He's a sun god. He dealt with the sun. He's the one who opened up the tunnel through the earth, the human body, so that the sun god could travel all the way around. That's the will. Hard Timmer, in this case, he's carrying out the will of the Father. The only way he's going to do that is to be the will of the Father himself. So that's Hard Timmer, the mighty avenger, and you'll find this throughout all scriptures if you can interpret the scriptures, you see. Which is very difficult because, like I say, people have used misplaced facts, the interpretations there, or misinterpretations, you know what I mean? Mislead and deceive people into believing things that are not accurate. Okay, folks. Good talking to you, and I get back with you. And uh, all religious scriptures say the same thing once understood. Okay, have a good day, folks. Bye.